Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, look some more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are filming the May update of the project pen. So if you are curious about that, please keep on watching. So I do look kind of strange with my hair up, but I need to wash it today. So I don't want to care about it. And I have a no makeup makeup on because I just want to film this video today. And it's almost... 7 p.m. so the day is almost done so i did some good progress on some products really really amazing progress i think we will replace two products if i am counting correctly actually three if we are counting the monthly bonus item as well so let's start with the primer as usual and we have in the project pen the essence hello good stuff glow serum primer and i will insert a short video with a close-up i did a decent progress on this one not the biggest progress this month i bought the super goop glow screen so i did use this one as well it's not a primer technically it's a sunscreen but i did use it most of the time as a primer so because of that i didn't use the essence that much but it is still a good progress so uh, i am sure that next month it will be maybe a bigger progress i do really like this primer it's very nice and glowy and it is from the drugstore the packaging is very very good it's glass bottle and it has a pump i really recommend this product it is really a gem from the drugstore then let's talk about foundations and in there i have two the first one that i will insert a short video of is the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation and i am pretty sure that in the first month i did mark this pretty far off because right now i could see a window in here uh, on the top part so i don't have any foundation in there but i still have a pretty decent amount of product in this one so the mark is very very close to the last month's mark but i did use this foundation a pretty good amount but i'm gonna continue to use this one it is a nice foundation it's just a bit too heavy for my taste it looks nice on the skin but it's just a bit heavy so it's not my perfect foundation it's not my favorite one and in this chapter of foundations i do have another one i have the l'oreal true match super blendable foundation i have here the shade what shade are you it is number one n and i decided to put two foundations in my uh, project pen just because usually when i'm going to work or occasions like that where i am doing my makeup pretty fast and uh, i like to have my products already decided for me and in those situations i always reach for my project pen items so sometimes i am neglecting my other products so because of that i decided to put a new foundation in the project pen just because i want to use this one i want to use other foundations in my collection and other products in my collection this one is a beautiful foundation lightweight blendable it's a pretty liquidy foundation i really love it i really recommend it is really nice and again it is from the drugstore i have a goal of 20 uses for it we did introduce this one in april and in april i did use it seven times so we have seven out of 20 so far so that means around two more months and i really like it so uh, i think it will be very nice and i think i did a pretty good progress i did shake it right now but i did like something like this of a progress so a bit of a product used so i will keep it in the project pen and uh, i really enjoy it next we have the sigma corrector and i really like this corrector i have pen in both of the shades i will put the video and it is a small progress but from the videos and the videos are very very useful uh, I can see a small progress. I did use it. I don't think I used it daily or something like that. But I did use it a pretty a pretty good amount. So I am happy with it. And uh, I really enjoyed the product. I really enjoyed the compact and everything. So I am, 
I am happy with the progress, even though it is a pretty small progress. Next, let's talk about the NYX concealer. I did a huge, huge progress on this one. Let me put the video up. As you can see, in the first month, I did a pretty steady uh, progress and I was using it pretty often and I really love this concealer. But last month, in April, I did use it a bunch, more than double of the uh, previous month. So I am pretty happy. I did use this concealer as foundation as well. It is a beautiful concealer. I actually love it more as a foundation because it looks so nice. It's glowy, but not greasy. I really like it. I think I'm gonna repurchase it after I'm done or I'm gonna wait a bit, but I hope NYX is not discontinuing this one because it is so good. NYX is doing so good concealers. So I hope this will stay around because it's so beautiful and so, so nice. Next, we have another product that I did a pretty good progress and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, the Matte and Poreless. I have the shade 110 and I will be done for sure. In the next month, I will be done. I did repress it in the middle, but um, I didn't add any alcohol or something. I just um, destroyed the product. I made a very small pieces and then I pressed it with um, tissue. So it is pretty loosely pressed. So my brush was picking a pretty good amount of product, but I think it will be uh, done next month. This is not my favorite press powder, but I am happy that I will finish it up and I am excited for the next month to introduce a new powder into the project pen. Then we have the categories where I have some number goals. The first one is bronzer and we have in the project pen the Rare Beauty bronzer. I have the shade Power Boost and I am almost done. Look at this. It is almost done. Uh, I will maybe I will take all of this product from here and put it into the powder after I am done with the powder because I am sure in here that it is more product underneath the not underneath in you, you got the point it is more product even though the uh, surface will be flat and maybe I'm gonna dug out all of the product and press it into the pen of the powder maybe I'm gonna do that this month because like I said I am almost done so if my math is correct we have a total of 76 uses of this product in this year and in this project pen because I did introduce this one in January I want to use it up so I will continue to use it and um, yeah 76 uses that is a pretty good amount and 21 uses only in April that's that's amazing. I love this bronzer. It is one of my favorites. And like I said, I think I will repress it into the powder, into the powder pen when that is done. Next, I have the LYS a blush. And for this one, I have a goal of 50 uses. And in March, I did use it 17 times. And in April, I used it 22 times. So that is a total of 30 nine uses and I have a dip going on so that is nice and this blush is not my favorite but I enjoy it so I will uh, be using it in May as well and probably after that I will just swap it out so I will keep it into the project pen until June because probably in June I will uh, reach my 50 uses. Next let's talk about highlighter because in here we have something very exciting and I'm gonna swap this one out. So we have in the project pen the Wet n Wild highlighter and I really want to use this one up. I have a giant pen in it and at some point I will repress it but right now I want to swap it out. I want to finish this highlighter at some point, but in April I did use it 24 times and that is just too much. 
too much. I want to use other highlighters in my collection. I do have beautiful highlighters. This one is amazing, but I want to use something else. And we did reach our goal of 50 uses. Actually, we, we are way past that. We have a total of 68 uses. And because of that, I want to swap it out. I think it is the time for it because I want to use other highlighters in my collection. And after that, I'm gonna just maybe reintroduce this one into the project pen and use it until I am done with it or something like that. But for now, I want to put this one into the project pen. And this is the Ofra Pillow Talk. I know that this is other packaging. It is the Kaleidos packaging, but I did put the Ofra highlighter in here. And I want to have 50 uses on this one as well. I really like this highlighter, but sadly I am not using it that often. So it is, it is a good thing that I'm gonna put it into the project pen. It is a beautiful highlighter. They are quite similar. Let me swatch them for you. The Ofra one is a bit more pinky. This is the Ofra one and this is the Wet n Wild one. They are not dupes in any shape or form, but I think I will enjoy the Ofra highlighter as well. So 50 uses for that one. And I am excited to use other highlighters in my collection. For example, today I am using the Charlotte Tilbury one. I will list down below everything that I have on my face. Next, we have the category of glosses. And here I have the Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm. I do like this product, but it's not my favorite. The color is absolutely... <laughs> I hate this color is way way too pink for me is that baby pink but it's ugly in my opinion it looks very very ugly on me I don't like it and sadly it is pretty pigmented I am almost done I did remove the stopper and as you can see I still have just a bit of product on the bottom of the tube but I will uh, call this one done. Right now, my lips are very, very dry. And I don't know why. I am blaming this product because it is pretty old. The smell doesn't help it. So I am retiring this. I will introduce into the project pen another gloss just to replace it. And I'm going to introduce this one. This is the NYX. This is Juice Gloss. And I have in here the shade Pomegranate Cloud. I do like this gloss, it's not my absolutely favorite one, but it is a nice one. It is like a red tint gloss and I could just put it on top. I like the smell of it, I like the packaging and I think this will be a good product to have in the project pen. It's not very very old, but I want to use it up. And I think this will be very nice in my purse. I was unable to put this one in my purse because it looks so, so pink. And after removing the stopper, usually in general with glosses, after you remove the stopper, the product is just a bit messier. So I don't want that in my purse. Lastly, we have the monthly bonus item. Technically, it's not a bonus item because it's the 10th product, but whatever. And in here I have in each month a new item and the last month i did decided to introduce the sephora blue eyeliner this is called matte cobalt it is the retractable eyeliner pencil from sephora it looks something like this this is an absolutely beautiful pencil a beautiful formula creamy blendable buildable and everything about it i really enjoy it and it is a bit of a more affordable product at sephora but sadly blue is not my favorite eyeshadow color so this was a bit of a challenge. I did use it four times in April. And I think I said last month that I would like to use it four times. And I did. So I am pretty happy about that. And we will introduce into the monthly bonus item category another product. And I decided on this one. This is the Wet n Wild. How is it called? Matte Mega Last Lipstick. And I have in here the shade Bear It All. It is a beautiful pinky nude 
and it is a bullet lipstick from the drugstore. I really like this formula. It is from Wet n Wild, very, very, very affordable. And I think it is a nice lipstick, what can I say? Of course, the packaging is nothing special, it's just a plastic packaging, but it has these lips in here that are pretty cute. I appreciate the detail and yeah, I think this will be very nice to uh, use and I will uh, count the number of uses for this one as well, just to see how many times I'm gonna use it. And yeah, these are all the products. So I did finish one product, I did swap out one product and of course I did uh, choose another item for the monthly bonus item. But in my opinion, the most exciting update, it was the next one because I did so, so good. I am very, very happy with this progress. I think I could finish it in next month. So I am very, very happy. I love that concealer. So overall, I am excited about everything. Next month, we should have one finished product, one maybe repressed product. And then maybe I'm going to swap out the blush and of course, the monthly bonus item as well. So I am very excited and if you like this video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like and I'll see you next time.